I always tell people who want to work in this industry, you know, like, well, tell me something to do. I said, just watch a lot of bad movies. That way you know what not to do. Years ago, not many could predict how big the Marvel Cinematic Universe would be today. There were also many actors who turned down the roles from Marvel Studios for various reasons at the time. Here are some actors who rejected Marvel in the past and then changed their minds. Number 1. Rachel McAdams When Marvel Studios began casting for the first MCU movie Iron Man, Rachel McAdams was offered the role as Tony Stark's love interest Pepper Potts, but she turned the part down. After the movie became a huge success, she realized that she had made the wrong decision. The next time she was offered the leading female role in Doctor Strange, she took the job right away. Hit me again. Stop doing that. Number 2. John Krusinski In an interview, John Krusinski revealed that he once auditioned for Captain America before the role went to Chris Evans. After putting on the skin-tight Captain America suit, Chris Hemsworth teased him about the outfit which made him feel uncomfortable, so he left the audition. I went in and I tested for Captain America. This is a true story. I was putting the suit on, I was halfway up, I think, and right at that moment, Chris Hemsworth walked by and he was like, you look good, mate. And I was like, nope, you know what, it's fine. <laughs> we don't have to do this. And he was like, you're gonna look great in that suit. And I was like, don't make fun of me, Hemsworth. And so I uh, just walked away right there. Years later, Krusinski appeared briefly in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness as Reed Richards, a member of the Fantastic Four. The smartest man alive, Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. Hello, Stephen. Number three, Charlize Theron. Years ago, Charlize Theron was offered the role of Jean Grey for the 2000 X-Men movie, but she turned the part down. Not only did she reject the role, she also used to make fun of Marvel movies. But years later, she seems to have changed her mind about Marvel by deciding to join the MCU as Clea and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. I play Clea. Uh-huh. And, um... And that's it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say I have, I have some work to do. I have... I, 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 I don't... Uh... Number four, Russell Crowe. Before Hugh Jackman plays Wolverine in the X-Men franchise, Russell Crowe was the first choice for the role. He was one of the biggest actors at the time. But Crowe turned the part down because he didn't want to be Wolfie, like Mr. Wolf. Well, is it true that you originally offered Wolverine before Hugh? Yeah, Brian, the that director of that, was um, a, a friend at the time, and, and he was really putting some pressure on about that. So I said no, because I didn't want to be... You know, Wolfie the general, Wolf and then Wolfie the other bloke, and then oh, like, but now I'm wow. like, I'm Mr. Wolfman. <laughs> like, <laughs> Years later, Crow finally decided to join the MCU as Zeus in Thor: Love and Thunder. Now you shut up. You be quiet because you are this close to being uninvited to the orgy. Number five, Brie Larson. Before accepting the role of Captain Marvel, Brie Larson revealed that she actually turned down the role twice. Due to anxiety. Marvel is interested in you playing Captain Marvel, and I was like, oh, I can't do that. Like, I have too much anxiety. A couple months later, they were like, hey, they called again, are you sure? And I was like, no. She changed her mind after the pitch meeting and found out how the movie talks about feminism, and all the writers and directors are female. So I had a meeting with them, and they had a pitch. I was very surprised by that, by the way that they were talking about feminism, the way they were handling it. They were like, all female writers, female director. Number 6, Matt Damon. Before Ben Affleck accepted the part of Marvel's Daredevil, the role was actually offered to Matt Damon, who then turned it down because he didn't like the script and wasn't familiar enough with the director's work. I passed on Daredevil. I did. I didn't love the script and I didn't know the director. Yeah, I don't, he hadn't really mm -hmm. done anything. Years later, instead of playing the major role, Damon decided to take the small part in several Marvel movies, such as an Asgardian actor who played Loki in Take a Waititi's Thor and the fat hillbilly in Deadpool 2. What year is it? Some dumbass question is that, Dad? <laughs> Number 7, Salma Hayek. Salma Hayek recently revealed that she almost turned down the role of Ajak in Marvel Eternals movie because she thought she would play an old grandma. However, when she found out that Oscar-winning director Chloe Zhao was directing it, she changed her mind and took the role. You're not powerful enough to do this. 
and you won't. Number eight, Ethan Hawke. The legendary actor Ethan Hawke revealed that he actually turned down many Marvel roles in the past because he felt that the roles weren't right for him. Why is it taking you so long to get into this world? Have you turned down parts in the past? I mean, you have to find the right one. Was it Iron Man that you turned down? Yeah. <laughs> Years later, when he was offered the role as Arthur Harrow in Moon Knight, he finally accepted it because his daughter convinced him to take the part. Who wants to heal the world? Number nine. Christian Bale. Even though he has played the best Batman trilogy of all time, Christian Bale is actually not a fan of superhero films. He once said that he had never seen any of the Marvel films and had no interest in being a part of the franchise either. That seems to have changed, as the actor decided to join the MCU as Gore in Thor Love and Thunder. That's right. I'm not a hypocrite. I'm truly creating peace. In fact, when he was offered the role, he almost turned it down because he saw the character in the comic wearing a G-string all the time. Luckily, Taika Waititi was able to convince him that they would make changes for the God of Butcher's costume. I don't think about it as, oh, I'm going back into a superhero world. I just, I like Taika. He called me up. I said G-string because if you see the comic book character, you're like, nobody wants to see that. What do you think about these actors' decisions? Who do you think would join the MCU in the next phases? Let us know in the comments below. Are you too good of an actress to really participate? Are you That's... too good of an actress to really take that role?